Okay, um, if I go back to the shirt here, Wyoming shirt, park shirt, that supposedly would remind me of Wyoming, uh, I can go and pass Mr. Chris. Chris from Colorado. Chris from Colorado is one outstanding man. In my eyes, in my view, this was the man who spent more time with me than anybody else did. This was like, he called me like a bro, a brother. He related to me like a brother, like I would be his brother. I don't know how, how he saw his own brothers, how he see his own brothers. The last time I saw him, I was pleased with seeing this man. Um, Chris, the way I spent so much time with him, we would become very close during MK Ultra. Did not want to participate in something like this. Uh, he treated me really well. Ultra, he treated me very well. Uh, it, it was like relationship he and I had under MK Ultra when MK Ultra went on. It would be really like the two brothers would be together, literally. It would be like two brothers would be together. Basically, he would be watching like over his brother. It was the type of the attitude he used. When I was with him in Washington DC, I was with him in Washington DC. At a talk, a conversation with Donald Trump in front of the U.S. government. I don't remember. The only thing I remember was it was a room. It was there were blue doors. It must be in some kind of place, Washington D.C. I don't know what this was. Most likely, what this was, it was a, most likely it was like a CEO headquarters or something like this, wherever those are based. But I think this was in Washington D.C. It was the blue doors. I'm saying, see, it was blue. It was blue doors, blue. Everything was like this, and it was Donald Trump there. And Chris would came out and he explained to me, man. He said, "Do you know why I'm doing this stuff?" He said, "Why? Why this stuff is happening?" Donald Trump picked him up because of the age. Chris and I are approximately about the same age. Uh, and so he found him fit for this kind of employment. And from the Chris alone who said, if you're not going to write the book, I'm going to write the book because he knows absolutely everything about the two of us. Um, he said, as a matter of fact, if you're going to write the book, I'm still going to write my book. It's still going to be a book I'm going to write. And I hope he does. And I hope he makes the fortune with it. Either way, this is just a really outstanding individual in my eyes, despite everything. He said, you know why I'm doing this stuff, he said. You, do you understand now why I'm doing this? This this kind of a stuff, I would have never ever done it. Uh, and it's crazy, the stuff that I do. It's unbelievable, the stuff that I do. Uh, it doesn't fit my profession, it doesn't fit, he would go and he would do a, like a labor jobs here, like low paid labor jobs and all kinds of stuff that they would use, lodge in the forest literally with me, lodge in these hostels and so on, the stuff that would then literally use to insert in my life when I would come out of the Grotniki and Throughout the stay in Grotniki alone, the jobs that were involved around the center where we would stay uh, were offered by the people he, where he previously, he alone, would try himself. Literally, folks, this is quite amazing stuff we're talking about here. Why they did this stuff? They did this stuff for a variety of reasons. One of the reasons was to see the whole picture but not even to dare to speak about one and so on when i take on everything it's just a matter of time when i get a hold of something then i go about it when i get sufficient enough 
support to place my foot, that's when I basically go about it. He said to me like this, I'm doing about this. He said, look at this. And Donald Trump in the U.S. always presented a big personality, public personality. And so he said, if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for like this, for the personality would be so recognized, if it wasn't for the U.S. government that would literally ask me to do this stuff like this, I wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. Because I could not even believe the stuff that I'm doing, basically, that not only from the ethical point of view, but from every corner as you look, he went below his, basically, his abilities in life to do this stuff like this. This is why Chris was doing this kind of stuff. This is why Chris did it. Now, Chris is really okay guy. This is a nice guy. A nice individual who always had by the way long hair longer hair back about the same haircut like Donald Trump his father Donald Trump for whom Donald Trump gestured that he will recognize one as his legitimate son uh, he better does whatever is gonna come out of this and it was the agreement between the two and it's what chris reminded me if you go to the interview between me and chris at mcdonald's that when donald starts his presidential career he will be the one leaving long hair like chris did to whom he referred like more natural relaxed uh laid back guy from colorado and this is how Chris is. He is very sharp, very smart, brilliant individual. Um, but he is, he is more spontaneous, natural, relaxed guy. I, as a brother like this, I think I would just love to have a brother like this. We got really, really along very well during the MKUltra or whatever. It might sound crazy to you um believe me it was all kinds of people involved it was for me it was a good thing if chris was around i was treated well um so the donald trump if you read the news if you read the media now he is the one that media is asking himself why did donald trump and they're asking themselves this on behalf of Donald Trump to remind Chris about his stuff, about his conduct, about his agreement with his father that, you know, created son out of wedlock, would not recognize him yet. Hopefully that changes anyways. Uh, yeah, this stuff is real. What happened was and I have the proofs I did not identify only here. Uh, Zgershi area, the city area itself, but also broader Zgersh area. And I did so because I was brought to door by door by Americans. First, it was like, did they gonna help me out to identify and this and that. It was about pretense, we're gonna find you a place for you to stay. In reality, they screw up the situation beyond believable. Some of these guy had a guys had a really bad attitude. They created trouble, got into arguments with locals, and created a, not a good situation for me. Then what they would do is, and they would do this on behalf of the Polish government. They would agitate me, they deprive you of the sleep, they don't let you sleep, they F you, they, it's all kinds of stuff that you go out on the street and you're just, like if you have a bad day or whatever, you would just go and just insult whoever comes in your face, basically. And I did this. And then they would have this people within a certain area, let's say, a certain quarter of the town or whatever, that first presented you like someone you should be assisted to that would do exactly the opposite and would start to support this now self-made victims who were before convinced to help in basically hating you basically going against you and so a lot of ugly stuff happened too 
from the people. I got a lot of all kinds of yelling and screaming in the face and so on. A kid I have seen the other day and his sister, because the neighbor did what he promised he would do, like open the door if I'm going to come to in front of his house, ask for the residence and so on. They really did as he did, they left the pit bull out, barking or whatever it means, and stuff like this. Um, eventually apologized to me under MK Ultra for his conduct. You have no idea what kind of a boogie crappy scenarios I've gone through here in Poland. You have no idea what kind of stuff was. The lowest one of them all was the scenario that involved, there were two scenarios. One scenario involves my boss at present work. This is the company where I started to work before the company even existed. I didn't start to work there, but I was subjected to one under MK Ultra uh, since one was based in the park, in this Boruta Park. There are several other companies which owners were they were how can i say they were they were enthusiastic about getting involved with me because of the finances because of the money because it was european union countries like belgium netherlands germany britain france and so on italy other countries that handed cash around uh they were they were just interested in being having me around because they were interested in being financed uh supported half foreign markets open for them so they could expand uh on top of this special financing option which they obtained like savo company obtained this is the name of my father basically i don't know if they give the name of the company like this but that time they suggested that this name does not exist in poland they would do something like this to remind me of my um my presence my father's presence also too here in this in poland and so on and there is a big company here by the name savo and there is another company where I work, they got the money, all these people got Europeans, Germans, everybody insisted that I should go and film this special financing options which they obtained. That if I'm not going to film that, how they get the money from European Union and so on, they're not going to assist me and so on and so forth. And meanwhile, I got really angry that somebody placed me in the middle of all this that I ruined, basically ruined me 25 years of my life. I wasn't going to go about and happy film how they got the money and stuff like this. You got to understand my option too a little bit. Uh, and so this company, I was inside of this company where I work right now before one even became a company. I should say I was already in this company, in a company which has existed before this company even become a company a new company before the owners bought this and turned into a different kind of company this is where i work right now so don't look at, you may be this is might be surprising i i tell you that what i was lodging in the forest for three days or four days i don't know how long i was i would have people that would come in the forest to remind me like a hunter that would come is a hunter that comes over there for the last 15 years the lady that would come during the lunch break i didn't even know it was her lunch break but regularly under mk ultra when she would come she would come during her lunch break i met her in the forest but i know where she works because we were there and so on and so forth she would be doing this for the last 20 years i know the habits of the people i know their stories i have identified people here in the broader Zgirsh area. I knew who they were. I know the stories. I knew homes of their children, where they build them and stuff like this. I did a whole bunch of things that 
international association police should pay attention to this that this case is proven beyond any doubt i have recordings about this that i can prove that this is this did happen this thing is real as you already know this but i want you to know that i do have these proofs legitimate proofs and it, it's the case that is proven beyond any doubt so you're gonna have to get involved between all this stuff you can't just watch from the distance uh, and basically do nothing about it it doesn't go like this it doesn't work like this okay the worst thing since I'm taught I did mention the boss from the company where I work this is a really good guy it's a really really nice guy the only thing he did was he did the gesture I didn't take the picture of his glasses which are like a red red frame uh part of portion of the frame up to here and then it's uh, glasses like plastic glasses he did exactly what he would promise he would do so with it he would remind me of this thing here and this is a polish guy this is a polish company and so on but the company itself involved a lot of other issues and it's these issues are related to the stuff i have spoken about the future of poland was viewed through this company as they have evaluated on how workforce is going to expand through the poland in the future and so on uh, i did dedicate video according to that uh, i know the employees i know the people who are here first it's all kinds of stuff i know about this company i could just go and give a little story about every employee in this company and you're talking about ukrainian employees people from ukraine would they tell me this kind of stories no we did not talk from what i have stayed with these people i would know nothing basically but the stuff that i know actually goes beyond employees itself and you're talking about the management employees so it goes straight to the owner it goes to the people that obtain those kind of finances it goes to the people that uh were interested in helping me on behalf of some people uh from europe and so on that's basically where it goes to and i want to thank for that matter this much about the glasses what i have found the, the most shocking about this whole thing and it's not that I want to go and it involves a whole a bunch of issues uh, since this video is pertaining to police I'm not going to give any kind of opinion about or, on anybody or anything say the gentleman that I met when searching for a place for apartment in this have suffered from a brain stroke sometimes in 2015 I remember that too because we went from home to home they wanted to make sure that nobody would actually give me a place to stay other than the locations they would use for their purposes basically and I will not forget they have English speaking person but it was a person from Slovenia right there that was mad, enraged with me. These people were fucking mad with me. Uh, 2015. Uh, this is how you're going to look like. Do you remember? Do you see this guy? He suffered a brain stroke. And as a result, a portion of his face collapsed and froze. And it looks terrible. And they conversed in front of this individual. They were playing with directed energy weapons already in Slovenia, just as I have explained. Well, I have explained. In Slovenia, inside of our home, inside of our house, they play with it. I have well explained. My niece's husband speaks Polish language. Not even 1% of the population speaks Polish language in Slovenia. Not even 
half of the percent of the population in Slovenia speaks Polish language. The neighbor across the street speaks Polish language. These people were in Poland here with me, they tortured me here. And the International Police Association has got to start to take this case considerably serious. It's got to get in between this Polish police and myself here. They cannot go on like this. The United Nations, I call again to step forward and do the job rather than to pretend to see nothing. If the case is not going to go away. This case is going to expand. Eventually, it's going to become big. And you probably don't want to have my finger being pointed at you for the rest of your existence. Because this is miserable stuff to do the stuff like this, to watch stuff like this and do nothing about it. You, you are going to be like this. Do you see this guy? We didn't do this to him. We didn't do this to him. But you, you are going to be like this. No, it was a Polish state that played with directed energy weapons, with poisoning inside of the Grotniki to the point they have screwed the pressure issues in the most sensitive part of the body, which is basically head. Now, as a result, yes, I am driving on the edge all the time. I hear this sound all the time. Nowhere else I have it in the body. Athletic body, very athletic body. Uh, but I do have it constantly here. And if I remind you in Grotniki, my head was, it was to the point I was subject to this type of torture, to the point that I would literally go and fucking throw myself over the bridge because the head was about to explode from pain, literally. And this is, you're talking about ongoing pain. You're talking about pain that goes on for like almost a year. They torture you like this. It was a Polish state that did this kind of poisoning. It was a Polish state that did this thing to me that won't go probably ever away from me for the rest of my life. But this is something maybe for international police to consider. The Polish people under MK Ultra displayed very, very angry issues. Very, very bad stuff, I'm going to say. Criminal stuff. Stuff that is not fit for a normal society. But it wasn't Pauls that brought me here. It was the person who called them animals that brought me here. It was a Donald Trump that brought me here. And I know that if people would be faced with the same issues in other countries, it would have been the same, if probably not even maybe worse than that. The Polish government did not even have to pick or professions to do what they did. What they did is a crime, it's a genocide, and I would charge one as such. It was assassination that happened in Grotniki. When you are subject to this type of treatment and then left in such situation for the rest of your life, uh, this isn't funny. And if you think it's funny, you go see, you go see the individual that they have shown me in 2015. And I'm gonna look like, and you're gonna see how funny that thing is. Bad stuff. Uh, in respect to Polish people, the only thing I gotta say is. Most of the people I met in Poland are great people. Um, many, many times they would go off their course, off their direction, wherever they would be heading, if I would be out of stopping, and they would give me extra mile right. Some, they would take me straight to Grotniki, which is a great deviation from route if you go from here to Alexander Olochki, basically in almost like in opposite way. So they could give me a company, so they could talk with me and I'm not so fun. I'm fun, but I'm not so fun to talk. They just really wanted to help. They were interested in helping me out. I see them as a good people, nothing like Donald Trump and Donald Trump really didn't go through anything. He really didn't have a right to call anybody like this. So we're not going to be doing any kind of hatred stuff that I believe Donald Trump anticipated he's going to get through this stuff.
at the end of the MK Ultra, the closer the end of the MK Ultra was coming, uh, the whole picture changed enormously from American point of view. From American point of view, the whole thing changed tremendously. What was intended as help from the beginning, uh, it turned the completely other way around. Uh, the country that I should be so excited about turned through the eyes of Americans into the country that I should brag the worst about. Uh, basically nothing else than expand hatred. And I really want to stay here. Uh, it's not going to happen that I'm leaving this place at any time. I hope to build my life here, even with a person that Donald Trump once acknowledges a miraculous psychologist, uh, a wonder psychologist, and then it would be the best for me to just stay away from her and so on. The best is to have nothing with her and so on. We went through all kinds of stuff. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff that was involved. I'm not going to go even into it. Uh, but I am looking forward to life in Poland. I am staying here. I am not leaving anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I am asking International Police Association, however, United Nations to get involved in this stuff. This isn't okay. It's not normal. Even the World Health Organization I would like to get involved in this stuff. It's not okay to spread uh, a hatred and it's not okay to spread uh, some kind of mental issues through a total destruction of the property, uh, private property of an individual. This is not okay. And the police are not in charge to do that kind of stuff. This is not okay. These things have gone too far and something really has got to be done about this. Thanks for watching this video. I have all kinds of interesting videos coming forward. Uh, I hope this was interesting stuff for you as it was for me. The way this was done, it was done in a such a way that I would be talking about many, many other issues. Uh, it would involve many, many other issues um, that would have extreme, extremely bad consequences for me, let's just say. They blended this news with a lot of other stuff. When they see me physically, that I am seeing the news they presented under MKUltra as such as such, that they brainwash me such and such what they do is they basically just go and they release a bunch of other negative stuff they will just go and they will just do something to you basically so that they will anger you and they would get that type of response from you that pretty much is how they have done that kind of stuff ladies and gentlemen i know exactly how they blend uh the news they brainwash with so they would get whatever they anticipated with stuff like this. This is these are really angry issues, stuff like this. You would go and brand new frames like this, you go and twist them with pliers to the person. This is not normal stuff. Alright. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.